So, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to solve a problem like this, uh, Daniel, what we're going to do is we need to make sure, guys, whenever you have a rational equation, that means you have a couple of rational expressions. Um, we could get them to be common denominators, combine them, and then solve them that way. But the easiest thing we like to do is get rid of our fractions. So to get rid of our fractions, the first thing I always do is determine my least common multiple for my denominators, or your LCD, whichever way you want to go through it. But the least common multiple of my denominators, first of all, I can rewrite this as a fraction. right? Therefore, I can say that LCM of my denominators is going to be equal to 10. Right? That's the smallest number that all three of these denominators divide into. So what I'm going to do then is now, once I've determined the LCM, now I multiply every single term times the LCM. So you determine the LCM, and you multiply every single term by the LCM. All right? This isn't combining. We're not trying to multiply the least common multiple on the top and bottom to combine them. I'm trying to get rid of my denominators now. So by multiplying every single term, we don't need to, you could multiply 10 times x, then divide by 2. Or you can also say that 10 divided by 2 now turns to 5. That goes to 2. And this becomes 10. So now I have 5x minus 2 times 2x minus 3 equals 10. Does that right? See how I went from that step to that step? Or any questions I wanted it? Because notice 10 divided by 5 is 2, so it's 2 times this form. But remember, it's still negative. Okay? So now I apply a little. Why couldn't you just do the 2 times 2 to the 4x minus 10? Because that's what you just. I could, but I'm just rewriting just so you guys can see. Where I came there. You could have just distributed it already if you wanted to. But I'm just doing it by step by step. So therefore, we have 5x minus 4x um, plus 6 equals 10. Right? 5x minus 4x is x plus 6 equals 10. Minus 6 minus 6, x equals 4. Okay. So the main important thing, though, about rational equations is they are easy once you eliminate the denominators. Right? So you've got to eliminate the denominators. How do you eliminate the denominators? Find the least common multiple of your denominators, and then multiply every term by that value. Okay.